welcome back to Xavier's World. Today, guys, I have a Netflix review for you guys, and I absolutely love this one. This one is called One Day. This was released back in August 8th of 2011. It made $56.7 million at the box office. It has Anne Hathaway in there and some other brilliant actors. Um, it's about this college students that they graduate on July 15th of 1988 and they come from both sides, you know, different sides. She's an idealist, working class family. He is, thinks that the, the world is his oyster. He's from a rich family. He's like a playboy. And it shows that in the film that he just, he's with all these different women every time. And it just, just kind of makes you sick that he's, bouncing from women to women to women to women it's just like oh my god pick one and stick with them um so but every july 15th they get together and they share their dreams their laughters their tears all of that they share all of that together but then they find out that what they've been searching for all along was each other because they fall in love with each other and they always had a special bond with each other because they were like really best best friends they shared everything they talked about everything they you know did everything and so he goes with all these different women she goes with all these different guys and there's like you can always sense there's jealousy between each other because he's like okay I'm not the guy you know or she goes I'm not the woman you know and stuff like that so they date all these different people and then they go their separate ways and live their life and do everything well she finds herself a loser boyfriend, you know, and he finds himself a real doozy. He marries her and come to find out she cheats on him. <laughs> they have a kid together. I hate people who do that. That is just, um, you know, so he gets upset about it. And on the 15th of July, he, he meets her, uh, uh, Emma and they just talk about it you know she was upset for him and she was you know sad you know that it happened and um she has this new boyfriend um his name is pierre and um he wa he comes back okay dexter comes back and he stays with her for like a couple of days or whatever just till he can get his feet back on the ground till he can get his to himself, find himself a place so he walks with her to her date that she's going out with this Pierre guy and when they get there he sees the guy and he goes oh you couldn't find a better good-looking guy you know and he goes just give me the keys to the apartment I'm gonna get my stuff and I'm gonna leave and you know you have the re enjoy the rest of your life and I wish you the best of luck so she was just like you know what well, I'm sorry and he goes it's okay so she gives him the keys. He goes and walks back to the uh, back to the uh, apartment. Well, as he's walking, you can kind of sense that he's just thinking about, you know, the mistakes he's done in his life, the things he did wrong, and he knows he was wrong. And then he thinks about her and just think of all the things that they've all they both been through, and they were always there for each other, no matter what the situation was. So you see her come running back to him and she tells him that she's like okay you better love me for who I am you better knock this stuff off of wanting to go out and party all the time and cheating or whatever and he's like no I will not do that anymore I I've stopped he said it's you I want and you know they they fall in love with each other and they're happy together you know that's what they've both been waiting for their entire lives is just to find true love finally and be happy and so the, she wants a child and so they were trying to have a child and um before tragic happened um she found out she wasn't pregnant and he said don't give up don't give up we're gonna keep trying we'll try again and he was getting ready to go out somewhere and she was getting ready to go do something I forget what it was and I'm not gonna say who died but one of them died and I was not expecting it I was in total shock I mean it was like mind-blowing I could not believe it I was just like finally they 
they're happy. You can see it. They were so excited. You can see it in her face and his face that they were so happy. They were so in love. And then all of a sudden, tragic hit. And I cried because I felt so bad. I was just like, they finally, finally found each other and they're finally happy and this happened. So, uh, they gave the movie seven out of 10. I gave it a 10 because I thought it was just beautiful. I, I absolutely loved it because I know you can relate to somebody out there you have that one special friend, you know, and you're more like either really close best friends and then it turns into something more or, you know, it's just like you have that one best friend, you know, and I'm very blessed to have a very good best friend, you know, my best friend, Xavier. Um, but, you know, it's... You know, like I said, you could all relate to having that one special friend that you could just, whether it's a guy, whether it's a girl, whatever, you have that one special friend that you could always relate to, you know? And I was just, just in shock how this story ended, but at the very end of the film, one of them finally after they find out that whoever died, this person finally finds peace and is finally happy with them, you know, with their life, even though they lost their other half. So definitely go check out this film. Um, it's called One Day. Um, I recommend it, you know, and if you guys have seen this movie, um, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the movie or um, some other good movies you guys have seen. I would like to hear that. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day with my husband. Um, you know, life's amazing. Life is perfect. So I'm going to go have some fun. All right, guys, I'll see you all next time here on Xavier's World. Until then, remember, God loves you.